What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today, we're going to go with Bitcoin SV or BSV, which is down 9.2% today at $95.61. $1.8 billion market cap with 19.596 million coins in circulation, 21 million max supply. All time high was last bull run at $489. We're only down 80% from that all-time high, which is fantastic. It means that held up really well in the bear market. All-time low is seven months ago at 21. If you would have bought seven months ago at 21, you'd be up 350% on your investment. You can currently pick this up on quite a few exchanges, it looks like. It looks like every single exchange under the sun, excluding some few, obviously. But yeah, it's available on a lot of exchanges, guys. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on Bitcoin SV. All right, everyone, let's get in the Bitcoin SV. Look at this rally we've had since June of 2023, actually since uh, December 20, 23rd. Uh, since December 23rd, man, we're up 128%. This is rising from the dead. We are currently top to bottom on the FIB here over the 0.5. So this is fantastic from our all-time high to our all-time low right here. What we're currently seeing is support at the 0.5. Now we really need to focus on the support at the 0.5 here at approximately $90. So write $90 on a sticky note, slap that bad boy to your forehead so you don't forget about it because that is our life support right there because our indicators are showing that we're about ready to head down to that $90 range and test it out. If you look at the MACD, the MACD is losing this bullish momentum rather quickly with these lighter uh, green candles along with the RSI starting to dip as well, being massively overbought here. This is the highest, uh, ooh, I spoke too soon. This is the second highest we've ever been on the RSI. First time we've ever flashed red, signaling, signaling hey, might be a good time to take some profit. And we did just print a sell signal on the WTX today as well. Last couple of times we printed sell signals, they've been pretty accurate. I mean, for example, the one prior to this was right here, and we saw a decent size drop there. The other one prior to that was right here, and we saw a drop there. And they may look small on the screen, but I mean, this smallest drop right here was 26%. That, mo that most previous sell signal was approximately 31%. So there is a possibility, let's clear this up, that we could be breaking back through the th this 0.5 back down to the 382 to 60 bucks and then rallying up from there. We would still be bullish if that happened, believe it or not, because we, we would be putting in a higher low. So there's two different scenarios that I see happening here for BSV. Either we see support here at 90 and continue up in the overbought territory, something like this, or if we break below that $90 range, we capitulate down to the 382 and then rally up from there. Because normally when you make large runups like this, you normally retrace back down to the 0.5 area of that runup, which if we actually just draw a fib on this initial runup right here, the 0.5 fib actually brings you down to around 75 bucks. So I guess technically speaking, keep an eye on $75 with a possible breakdown to 60 before rallying up. That is only if we break below the 0.5. So remember guys, sticky note, $90 slapped on your forehead. That is your life support. I believe we're heading down there to test it out in the next day or so. So if we break below that, next stop would be 75, inevitably then $60 at the 382. So Regardless, we have started our bull run for BSV. I think it's going to be breaking this all-time high rather easy, this bull run. I mean, we're not we're already, you know, 80% of the way there, almost halfway. Once we get above the 618, man, it's to infinity and beyond. So regardless, pullbacks are normal. We're in a bull run. Bear our bear bearish movements are going to be less dramatic in the bull run. Bullish movements are going to be more dramatic in the bull run. So keep an eye on the 0.5 at $90. That's your life support. With that, none of this is financial advice, and if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can contact me on any of my social media links. All those links are below in the description.